What's up, everybody? My name is Barbecue. Today, I'm bringing you a short barbarian, a uh, little bit of a hidden tech video to help you out with using Steel Grasp. So if you don't know, Steel Grasp is a pretty fun and unique ability for the barbarian, um, but it's not utilized very often, and there's a couple of reasons why. Um, the first reason is because it's kind of buggy and it doesn't always pull in its target, so that's a challenge in itself. And the second reason is uh, after you pull something in, let's say we're using Hammer of the Ancients, for example. There is a ton of what we call end lag on the chains. So what that means is after you pull someone in, there's a long delay before you can even fire off Hammer of the Ancients. But what I've discovered is a way to cancel that end lag, which will let you pull someone in and then use Hammer of the Ancients almost immediately. So let's dive into a couple examples. All right, so first we're gonna get our buffs up. I'm gonna set the mobs up for us and I'm gonna show you an example. So look at the lag time here between the chains and the Hoda. So it might not look like a long time, uh, especially for PVE, but in a game that's basically designed around speed clearing everything, anything that slows you down uh, just doesn't feel very good. And you can see it's really clunky. Um, it's just, there's a lot of time in between the swings. So I was trying to figure out ways around this, especially since I'm a big PvP player and it doesn't feel good when you chain people to you and they just dash out of it before you can even get an attack off. So I was practicing some things and I discovered that if you use your dash immediately after throwing the chain out, it will cancel the end lag animation on your chains and you will be able to Hoda almost immediately. So let me give you a few examples of that. All right, so same video, same setup. Here you're gonna see I'm gonna throw the chains dash immediately and look how much faster I can use my Hoda after using the chains, guys. It's so much faster. And as you can see here, it's not the easiest technique to pull off. It does require some practice, um, but it is for sure worth it. And it just makes the game feel so much smoother. Um, and it's it just feels more rewarding when it's happening. Especially in PvP when you get that one clutch hook and you get the nice dash cancel off and they don't get escape off because of it. So here you can see once again, here's an example of no dash cancel. Look at the delay. It's, it's insane. It's insane. So yeah, and then we have the dash cancel. I mean, there's a very clear difference here. All right, so now let's look at a bit of a cleaner example of just me versus another player. And of course I'm level 100 and my buddy is level 67, but this is just to show the technique. So don't get your panties in a bunch. But if you see here, especially in slow-mo, there is just an appalling amount of lag time in between the chain and the swing. So now let's take a look at a dash cancel. Okay, so now look at the difference in between the lag time here when I immediately dash out and I can instantly Hoda right after. Now you're going to see I'm going to follow his dash here, but when you have Quake on your Hoda, it makes the AoE gigantic, so you can just kind of almost do it anywhere you're standing after you dash you can turn around and do it you can turn to the side it's really kind of a case-by-case -case basis on how you're reading your opponent and uh, which way you kind of think they're gonna dash and if this is just something you're gonna use for PvE then you don't even have to worry about this part All right, so here is actually a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see on the left side, I'm doing the normal hook and Hoda combo, and you can see I'm just spamming my right click as fast as possible, but it just does not come out. Compared to the one on the right-hand side where you can see that the dash cancel cuts down on that lag time significantly. All right, so now let's look at some real world examples here. You're gonna see me engage a rogue right now, and my God, this is going to be hard to watch, guys. Look at how many times he gets away from me before I can even get a Hoda off. Like, first of all, he's so hard to land a hook on to begin with. And then when I do, I'm just whiffing the Hoda. So this is what made me think, like, you know what? I've been a competitive fighting game player in the past, and there's a lot of techniques where you cancel your end lag and stuff. So my brain started working, like, maybe there's a way around this. 
Uh, so I started theory crafting, but you can see here it's just constantly getting out of uh, my hooks here and you can see if I use that dash cancel here, all of his dashes are straight away from me, so it'd be really easy to read the player and just dash cancel against him. Very great example that you're seeing here. Alright, so now let's take a look at an even better example. I think this one is another rogue. Yes. So this rogue, once again, all over the place. I'm just trying to get him under my thumb. It's a pretty good fight. He's going to start evasing. I'm sure his cooldowns are all down. So I'm going to chase, chase, chase. There's the hook. He can dash out before I can hoda. There's another hook. And look, I dash cancel it, and I'm able to uh, resolve a hit there. So let's take a look at that one more time in slow-mo. I hook him. He's able to escape. Now, on the second hook, I do stun him with the hook. Um, but the technique still works. You see I'm able to dash and I'm able to do the Hoda it, much faster than I was before. And then also you can react to the opponent like you saw there. I saw that he was stunned after I dashed, so I just turned around and used my Hoda. So that is it guys. I hope that helped you with your Barbarian and Hota gameplay with Grasping Chains. Um, there is going to be a full PvP build coming in the future, so please give a like, follow, and subscribe if you are looking forward to that. It does involve Hota and Grasping Chains, and I do call the build Hammer of the Chainchants. So you heard that here first, don't let anybody take my idea. Please be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. I will get back to you right away, and good luck with all your barbarians.